businesses tell us they're turning to private security. Downtown Seattle Association says in the 2020-2021 fiscal year, more than $564,000 was spent. And due to police staffing shortages, more businesses say they are turning to security firms for help. Somebody came in and smashed the, the front door. It's one of three acts of vandalism in the last month and a half. Surveillance video captured the moment when another window was shattered and when a fire was set outside the door. Maria Cosen, the owner at Gelatiamo, has been on this corner for a long time. 25 years, going for 26 this year. And she says the last couple of years have been the worst she's ever seen. Oh, absolutely, by far. When you look out at the window right now, what do you have? It's us. There is wild ginger that is half boarded up. There's boarded up buildings on both sides of the street, and she says there's also been criminal activity. Drug dealing, thefts. Um, we had two shootings in two days, two weeks ago, right outside the store. Seattle police say they do provide extra patrols when possible, but the department is dealing with staffing shortages. That's why the building management here has hired private security. And also on 3rd Avenue at the Melbourne Tower, they're doing the same. We're doing seven days a week um, and it's costing just under $1,000 a day. It's crazy that we have to do that. But General Manager Lou Bond says it's necessary. What we're facing specifically here uh, has been really challenging. To spend additional money just to be able to safely operate you got to be kidding. It just doesn't make sense. When we asked the mayor's office about it, we received this. Mayor Harrell believes it's unacceptable that small and local businesses are feeling the burden of providing core public safety responsibilities. He also believes it is unacceptable that the police force has reached this severely reduced level of staffing. The statement goes on to say the mayor is working with police to make progress on that. And on this corner, this owner says she's determined to keep this place going. Behind every small business, there is a heart and there is a story. And sometimes we just don't look at that. We just look at, oh, it's another business down. The mayor's office told me today that the mayor is regularly meeting with residents and businesses in that area and is working with the police department on a plan of action for downtown within the first quarter of this year. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.